Hollywood by Michael Bublé. These guys, or rather, <laughs> I don't know which one now. They're going to tell us. Are um, fans of the of the Big Bang Theory? Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> this is lovely picture on Facebook, which uh, Karun just showed me. Did you give him a T-shirt? I did. I, well, I call him Sheldon because he is such a geek. He's the only guy I know. We've been to dinner. and like he gets a screwdriver out and starts taking his laptop apart on the on the dinner table <laughs> hey. like who does that in a restaurant he, he needed servicing what can i do i don't have much more time so i had to do it when i could <laughs> multitasker man yeah that's yeah. what you are so you call him you call him sheldon yeah he is sheldon yeah, that's really he is. a geek you have a name for him which you can share on air is it just too gross <laughs> and you can yeah. i i think i think i'll keep it for uh, for another opportunity because uh, my, some people might find it offensive <laughs> <laughs> i do <laughs> he does definitely but i don't care it's okay. uh, yeah. Vivek Nayar hi how are you sir nice to hear from you to go where no man has gone before to push new frontiers all the best to Karan Chandog and Bruno Sena uh, formula e speaking of which Karan uh, talk about the team mm -hmm. talk about the support staff uh, so important as far as Mahindra Racing is concerned yeah absolutely i mean i think uh, what what's been really impressive is the commitment from the group of, i mean everyone knows what a, in india at least everybody knows what a big company mahindra is i think yep. uh, people in brazil will now discover and uh, You know what's been amazing is how personally involved the senior bosses have been. You know, people like Anand Mahindra and Dr. Pawan Goenka, you know, Prakash Shukla. You know, they these guys they run 104 companies or something. I have no idea how they have time to be sending emails to to us about the race team, but they do, and it's it's fantastic to have their sort of personal support. You know, right from the top, and and then that filters through to Dilbag, who's the team principal, and everybody involved. So. Yeah there's a huge um, huge push from them to be successful in formula E and that uh, that's fantastic you know they were you know very clear that they're in this to be successful and not just to make up the numbers you know the no the novelty of being an indian team on the grid will disappear by the first race you know that's gone and after that we ha we have to deliver results so um it it is really important for them to be uh, committed to it mm -hmm. i, I want to bring in the fia on this one i mean their attitude towards formula e you know is there a long term view a short term view you must have been speaking to guys all the time talk about that bruno sena yeah they are definitely um looking at formula e as the future uh, role because uh, you know for them it's important to be controlling the best uh, uh, racing series in the world if they start losing the top racing series they have formula one of course right now and uh, the world rally championship and the wtcc and so on and so on but you know times change and the fi needs to keep current so they have recognized from lay as the as one of the things that could be uh the future path for them and um they've been really involved in the formula project from the beginning uh they've been looking for the best regulation set for the championship to be to be a, a continue continually uh, developing and uh, be attractive for manufacturers and uh, lots of different people and uh, so far they've done a good job i think it's hard to know exactly how the championship is going to develop uh, to uh, throughout the years but so far the plan the, f the plan for the first at least 5 years is looking is looking pretty solid Mm -hmm. And and uh, Karun, I've got to ask you. I mean, it's a bit of a blow to us that uh, the Buddha International Circuit is. We're hoping taking a one-year break. Uh, yeah. You must have some fabulous memories driving around that track, man. Have you done a fair bit of that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I was involved very early on. You know, I helped to. I actually helped to design one of the corners of the track, and you know, I've been a consultant with the JP Group for a long time. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I was the first one to do a lap in a Formula One car, and and to really. Um, to see that come from an empty piece of dirt which is what it was when i first went in in the beginning of 2010 to doing the first lap was was special of course it's it's a shame that it's gone but um, you know yesterday we've had a new cabinet sworn in a new government come in and hopefully they'll be a bit more f1 friendly and if if that's the case then we will have a grand prix back and maybe we'll have a formula e race on the streets of india somewhere mm -hmm. so um yeah a lot depends on on those those guys in delhi now Yeah, Pooja Trey, and all the best to the driver duo. We need many more motorsport fans in this country. Okay, going to go into a classic now. Paula Abdul with Crazy Cool and post this some messages. Now you got to keep yourself busy. We will keep picking out uh, a couple of your questions and ask these guys like we did with Chetan, who's the other person on Twitter. One space your query name to five three six five zero. Tag at H R I S H I K A Y on Twitter. Facebook dot com slash radio one dot mum. Also, I'm going to put up more pictures of the duo hanging in the studio. Hang around nine thirty nine. Crazy cool. This is Good Morning Mumbai, and you're with Rishi K. Radio one.
What absolute fun. Uh, such a ride of a time with Karun Chandok and Bruno Sena. Formula E Racing is here. There's an India connection. Mahindra Racing, the team. And these two guys are there in the inaugural edition as part of the team. Okay. Uh, how many teams in total were going to be taking part in, in Formula E? Just a little bit more about the mechanics of the sport. So, basically, the 10 teams with uh, 20 drivers. So, and, and 10 races. Um, and 40 cars. And 40 cars. <laughs> Because each driver's actually got two cars, as yeah. as Bruno said earlier. Um, yeah, it's going to be. I mean, there's some really good teams. Honestly, there are you know there are four four teams which already work in the electric uh, car business. You know, and produce different electric cars. So, but it, it's you know they're going to have really good drivers. Lots of former uh, sports car and F1 drivers. So the lineup should be pretty strong. Um, yeah, I think we we really looking forward to it. It should be fun. And you guys have pretty much uh, experienced every level of motorsport. I mean, we're yeah. talking G two, which again a lot of people said was the the kind of board to get on to Formula One. You've done a, your GP2, your bit of yeah. GP two. Um, other than that, the Le Mans race, which yep. uh, such little is known about in in India. Yeah. And you guys, Bruno, are about to take off uh, to Le Mans. Talk yeah. a little bit about that race. Yeah, both of us are flying away tonight. Uh, this uh, Sunday we have the first the Le Mans test, which is a, a test day before the week of Le Mans. Uh, after that, uh, we have a Formula E test on the following week in uh, in the UK, and then back to Le Mans because Le Mans is not only uh, a 24-hour race, but also it's like a whole week event. So uh, activities start pretty much on uh, Monday when the cars are on a on a little square and everybody gets scrutinized and you're, you're there and the public is there. So the interaction with the public for Lema is incredible. And we have practice on Tuesday, practice on Wednesday, and then uh, we get like all these activities. On Friday, there's the, the, the parade. So all the cars get, get taken to the back to the city. All the drivers get uh, uh, go around the city and the public, I'm not, I'm not joking, it's, it must be over 500,000 people on the streets. As the track that's mental. I've it's never seen anything like it. Like it's crazy. And then you go uh, finally Saturday mo Saturday afternoon. We start the race, uh, and it's a 24-hour race. It's a very very exhausting race. The conditions are always difficult. The, the circuit there is 14 kilometers long, which means that you're gonna have different weather in different parts of the track. So you're never really on the right tire if the weather is changeable. And um, Le Mans is one of those races where. The winner is the one who makes the, the fewest mistakes, mm. uh, as opposed to being the fastest guy on the track. So, very tough challenge, and I'm sure I'm not competing directly with Karun this time. I'm racing GTs with Aston Martin. Karun is uh, doing LMP2, so I think uh, we can both have a good race without uh, annoying each other too much. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. People are just going, running riot on Twitter. Vikram Balram. Bruno, don't convert my brother Karun to non-vegetarian. Now you need just batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that you are you are with the Senna protege, says Nishit Vora. Yeah, brother, my lucky day. Nekzad, fab interview with Karun and Bruno. We also miss Karun's commentary during F1. Where's that going, man? That career? Yeah. Um, I've actually been doing lots of TV stuff now, but Star Sports, uh, for whatever reason, they've They've changed their entire F1 uh, coverage sort of uh, deal. Um, so it's all shifted. I believe it's all shifted here to Mumbai uh, a little bit. So it's down the road, actually, uh, the facility. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. But I've been doing stuff in the UK and actually in Qatar. So now I've, I fly to the Middle East for every race and do things there. Um, I really enjoy the commentary. Um, you know, I think Bruno loves telling me how I, I talk too much. So <laughs> commentary is a great job for me. <laughs> Karim is probably the best commentator in the world. It just needs a bit more practice. <laughs> RK, who used to be with Neo Sports and now with 10 Sports. Ah, I'm sure you and Karun have more to chat about in a different language, Tamil. But we haven't gotten down to that. No. <laughs> as yet, but never say never. Ambar Savant, wishing uh, Mahindra Racing, Karun Chandok, Bruno Sena, uh, all the best. And uh, Ayrton Sena, respect. Fantastic. Say what you want. By Nelly Furtado, after the song, more conversation with the duo. It is Bruno Sena and Karun Chandok. Nelly Furtado, she has some Portuguese blood in her, say what you want, in studio at 9.54 with the deadly duo from Mahindra Racing. Formula E is a sport that we're really excited about and these boys are there. Listen, it starts in September, what's the first big race, Karun? Uh, Beijing, around Beijing. the bird's nest, so right in the heart of Beijing. Um, yeah, should be cool. 
and uh, some of the other venues if you could just run us through that hmm? well we go from beijing we go to malaysia then we go to north america to do um uh, los angeles miami uruguay buenos aires berlin monaco uh, and well, finish in london mm-hmm. and you live in monaco don't you <laughs> i do yeah I remember meeting the, the tennis player Jonas Bjorkman and you know I asked him all quest, 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 sorts of questions about Monaco because I've never been yeah and he goes you know when you're living there and you're a sportsman you don't get to see too much of the party life <laughs> is that the way it is with you too <laughs> it's a bit like that i mean um, he is such a liar <laughs> no you, you, get, you get to go out <laughs> i have a few friends there and so we, whenever i'm there we we do we always end up doing the same thing uh, because that's Monaco's small place mm. uh, but if you're there the whole time you find it boring because you're always doing the same thing yeah. but if you're like me where right, you come in and out then you end up enjoying it because it's friendly because you know the people but at the same time it's not the same thing every single night so I actually quite enjoy it there it's good for training mm. the weather is nice as well which makes a difference for me i'm from brazil so you know we like good weather in the seaside so um yeah i quite enjoy it there it's it's pretty good so who's your pick from the brazilian team for the world cup that's coming up oh. my boy is neymar what's yours <laughs> i think neymar could do a good job as well he's, uh, uh, he's having a bit of a hard time in europe yeah. isn't he i mean they're giving him a lot of uh, stick but uh, he's very talented you know and uh, in brazil he's enormous i mean he's like it's amazing how big he is in brazil now and uh, hopefully he's going to give us some good smiles uh during the world cup and you my friend uh, are a big bon jovi fan you know richie sambora yeah. tico torres david bryan bon jovi and that's something we have in common talk about this this concert at cardiff that you went to yeah yeah i went to see them twice last year went in toronto and in cardiff uh typical english concert open air got rained on i mean we arrived and it was completely empty and it was weird because you know it was supposed to be a five o'clock and i just had standing tickets we queued up and um but by the time it it filled in at seven o'clock when they came on it was packed you know it was i've never seen so many people in a stadium in my life and everyone singing along and and dance it was uh, uh they were pretty cool it was it was nice to finally go to a yeah, concert i have one comment to make you see yeah. when i come to india i see that people they kind of like go and do stuff and it's not like everything is not well planned like in brazil we don't plan stuff ahead karun has been in the uk for so long that he arrived so early to this concert you know there was no there was nothing that was going to go on Bomb before punctuality <laughs> and then <laughs> so he got soaked he waited for 2 hours standing there there was no one else and this is in the UK where people actually plan ahead yeah. which means that definitely you've been way too long yeah, there yeah. it's time to go back like home for a bit <laughs> and the other end of the spectrum yeah people like Lewis have to be woken up in the morning <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly you know about that yeah <laughs> he was late showing up on uh, for free practice that was quite funny uh, you know the you think the whole uh, lewis hamilton rosberg thing is is one out of the movies you know uh, who's to say 10 years from now another rush will be made on it or you think it's good for the sport man the drama <laughs> well i think it's good for the sport because mercedes are so far in front you know if they weren't fighting with each other we'd have nothing to watch and nothing to talk about so <laughs> i think i think it's great and uh, i mean ultimately i think lewis is 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 a bit quicker and you know is i think we'd all agree perhaps the the favorite in some ways he's won more races so far but nico's done a, a great job to to keep take the fight to him and i think um mm. you know it, it's a fascinating story and hopefully hopefully they'll keep fighting and hopefully it'll be good for us uh, to watch and you know we keep talking about the champions and the big ones but the fact of the matter is uh, you know in monaco uh, marussia uh, got some points on the table and and you know, jules uh, fabulous job there talk a little bit about that bruno yeah, yeah. it was incredible i think This is the thing about Monaco. Normally the races are really boring, yeah. but it throws you some curveballs that you can never imagine, you know. And uh, well, I ended up with a car on my head into the absolute <laughs> dead when, uh, yeah. when we were teammates. Yano truly landed on top of my head, which was uh, that, that was unexpected. That was a curveball, definitely. <laughs> yeah, a little uh, unexpected move there, but yeah, it's a um, great job by them. Uh, definitely they have uh, leapfrogged uh, the Caterham guys and uh, It's it's a good job by them because they were very bad in the f- past few years and uh, we thought that Caterham would be the one actually stepping up to the more established teams but no actually Marussia is there and uh, they're <laughs> nipping on the heels of uh, of Sauber which is you know which is of course very difficult for Sauber to accept so um yeah congratulations to them for for the point is so difficult to score points in Formula 1 and uh, I think they uh, well now I'm sure 
Keita Home is in big trouble to try and recover that position in the championship. Okay, now all you guys, you want information on Formula E other than doing a Google on Formula E. On Twitter, these guys are active. It's at B Sena and it's at Karun Chandok. Also, Mahindra Racing is at Mahindra Racing on Twitter. So I'm all season. Look forward to a more dope from them. Gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging with me, man. Bruno Sena, thank you. No, thank you. Namaste. Ah, beauty. Pagala machi. Great to be here, Rishi. And uh, hope to be back. Yeah, of course. That's Karun Chandok. And here we go. With someday I'll be Saturday night by Bon Jovi. Up ahead, full T20 championship action. Ayaz Mehman is going to talk about his preview of the game tonight. Gaurav Kapoor is going to play 20 seconds of game. The East India Comedy Boys are going to roll in. So lots of fun coming up. Someday I'll be Saturday night, Bon Jovi. Hey.